Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So this is part two of my Yankee Candle Mother's Day candle haul. If you guys haven't seen part one, definitely check it out. As I went through about half of these fragrances already, showed some melts, showed some plugins. We do have about four more regular three wick fragrances to check out and then we have the candles from the Mother's Day tote to take a look at. So let's go ahead, jump in and start looking at these fragrances and talking about them. So the next fragrance I have to share with you guys is the Yankee Candle Plum Berry Crepe Cone. And I have to say, once again, I love this packaging. I love the color purple. I am a purple girl through and through. So Yankee, you pulled at my heartstrings with the purple. Love the embossed flower lid on this one. And the inside wax is just so pretty on this fragrance. Absolutely love and adore that purple wax. Once again, these are 18 ounces, so they are a little bit larger than Bath & Body Works candles. So you're really getting a big bang for your buck if you get these on sale for $10. I know I'm going to be keeping an eye out for additional sales because I really look forward to these Yankee Candle 3 wicks. I have yet to burn one and see how they perform, but you know once I do, I will go ahead and add them to my empties and talk about them. So let's go ahead and start talking about this actual fragrance, Plumberry Crepe Cone. So when I smell this, I feel like the plum definitely overpowers the waffle cone. You get the waffle cone in there. I would say it's about a 40% ratio of waffle cone, 60% ratio of plum. The plum is a little bit bitter and tart. There's some sweetness in there. The waffle cone, I would say that they didn't quite nail the waffle cone fragrance 100%. It feels like it's a little bit off, a little bit of a like synthetic waffle cone smell, or there might be a little bit of vanilla cutting in there. I wouldn't say that I love this fragrance. I definitely like it, and I look forward to seeing how it performs. I look forward to seeing how it does when it's lit versus what I think on cold sniff. So I do have high hopes for this candle. Let's go ahead and check out the next fragrance. So the next fragrance we have here is Tangerine Vanilla. This is different packaging. It doesn't have the cute floral embossing on the top. It has more of like a sunburst design on it. Very retro looking with the font and the picture that they used on it. And I did pick this up in Melts as well. It was actually at the outlet that I got the melts, but unfortunately, like I said, my daughter did delete the footage of that video. So hopefully you guys will see those fragrances pop up in my empties. So when it comes to the tangerine vanilla, we have some really nice peachy apricot colored wax, nice thick wicks, good spacing on them. And this fragrance to me does not smell like the actual tangerine itself. It smells like the um, rind or the peel that you peel off of a tangerine, like the inside white pulp-like um, material inside of the peel. That's what it smells like. I smell some vanilla. It definitely kind of makes my mouth water. I'm not lying. It's not super sweet citrusy because, like I said, it smells like that peel. I would say it's almost like a cleaning lemon you would want. I was hoping that it would be more sugary sweet. I felt like when I got the melts, it was more sugary sweet. I have yet to melt the melts. I have yet to bring the candle. So my thoughts could change on that and hopefully they do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next candle. So earlier I kept tripping up on this one. I wanted to call it Mount Fiji, but this is Majestic Mount Fuji and I love the labeling like I love the little fan pattern that they did on these this one's in light blue you got the cherry blossom flowers they have some mountains and once again I love the embossed lid on these like Yankee went all out on these so let's go ahead and pop the top off see what color this one is it is a very pale blue almost like the outside of the packaging I'm gonna go ahead and sniff this one 
So this is a very nice fresh scent, almost like a laundry fresh scent. Definitely giving me like laundry soap vibes, fabric softener vibes. Really fresh and airy fragrance, which kind of is to be expected considering it's called Majestic Mount Fuji. I definitely like this one and I'm curious to bring this one in my bathroom. I'm definitely reserving this one for my bathroom as I think it's going to be a perfect bathroom burn. We have one more candle left in the three wicks and then we will be hopping over to the Mother's Day tote. So the next one I have is Wild Orchid and I love the packaging on this like 100% across the board. I love the pattern sleeve and we have an embossed top on this one. So this is from a different collection as well. Unsure what collection. The Pink Sands was decorated this way as well. Kind of regret not picking up Pink Sands, but I've had Pink Sands a couple times in the past that I did want to try some new fragrances. Ooh, love the color of that. Did not expect that. So lavendery purple color. Like I said, this is a wild orchid. Ooh, that is very nice. So this reminds me a little bit of their candy floral fragrance. That one smelled like Juicy Couture. Does this smell like Juicy Couture? No, but it smells like a candied flower fragrance. You get that sweet, um, orchidy smell in there with a touch of sugar. Kind of regretting not getting two of these. I will have to keep an eye out for another sale because I most likely will pick up another of this fragrance. Let's go ahead and hop over and start talking about the Mother's Day tote. So the Mother's Day tote came with a total of four candles. Three were picked by them and then one I got to self pick. So this was standard in the bag. This is Yankee Candle Iced Berry Lemonade. This is their new packaging and I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it looks a little generic, looks a little bit cheap. I definitely don't like the feeling of the lid and how it is indented there. I think that's awkward, but it does make it kind of easy to grab and easy to pull off. So the nice thing about these two wicks, you obviously don't need an Illumilid. Do not put an Illumilid on these. There is too much heat that conducts from an Illumilid and you could find yourself in a scary situation where you might have a candle literally go up in flames. I have had it happen with a Goose Creek. So let's go ahead and take a sniff of the Iced Berry Lemonade. So I definitely get a very strong sugared lemon smell in there. I wouldn't say I get too much of a strawberry smell in there. There's not like a strawberry jam or a sugared strawberry in there. The strawberry I get is just a very plain fresh strawberry and it's very limited in this fragrance. I would definitely say there is about probably 20% strawberry, 80% sugared lemon, which I guess that's probably what you would want in your iced berry lemonade. I have been getting more and more into citrus fragrances, so I definitely look forward to this fragrance and seeing how it performs. I'm glad I got it in the tote because it's not something that I would have openly purchased on my own. The next fragrance is a Woodwick candle, which is awesome to get because Woodwicks rarely ever go on sale. The outlet, sometimes you can get them up to 30% off. This is Seaside Neroli. I don't know if they put their scent descriptions on these ones. So no, they do not put them on the Woodwicks. This is a 9.7 fluid ounce. The large jar two wick was a 20 ounce candle. Seaside Neroli, I won't lie, I've already smelled this one and I am in love with this fragrance. Um, so this does, once again, it smells laundry-like. It leans itself to be more fabric softener, like fabric softener sheet smelling, like snuggle smelling, but yet there's like this touch of like watery aquatic spa-likeness to it. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm not good at explaining candles, but I love Seaside Neroli right up my alley. This is going to be a bedroom or a bathroom burn, and I look forward to it. But I will say one thing I hate about wood wicks is the thing that most people love the most, and that is the crackling wick. 
I will burn candles in the bathroom, which is literally straight across the hall from my office within eye distance. And that crackling makes me think my house is on fire. So I'm constantly up checking it, checking it, checking it, because I'm terrified that there is a fire in my house. I get so traumatized by these candles. I will not like buy a wood wick because of that. So we also got a candle from there. Let's see, what's the name of this line? This is the Chesapeake Bay line, which is a little bit more affordable at Yankee. And this one is called I Love You Mom. Ivory colored wax. Let's go ahead, take a sniff. This is in really heavy, thick glass. And those are some beefy wicks. So you know this one's gonna burn good. This is a very strong rose fragrance. It is one of those powdery, mature rose fragrances. Not a fragrance I would have picked on my own, but nonetheless, I'm happy to try it because it popped up in this Mother's Day bag at a reasonable cost. The last candle is the candle that I got to pick. They told me I could pick any 22 ounce candle I wanted. And you guys know that I was loving mango ice cream, sweet plum sake, and they did not have this in the three wick on sale, but they did have it in the single wick 22 ounce. So I did go ahead and grab Cliffside Sunrise as my choice. Beautiful, beautiful picture there on this candle. I love these classic jars when it comes to Yankee. I like them more than the new style jars. Let's go ahead, pop the top off and take a sniff. We got some almost like watermelon red wax. Oh, this smells so good. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I get almost like a spun sugar cotton candy smell in this, which I probably should not be smelling cotton candy in my Cliffside Sunrise. But I get a very like sweet, fruity, cotton candy-esque smell to this, and I am in love with this fragrance. I'm hoping that it's a strong burner because I don't have much luck with these single wick candles emitting a lot of fragrance. That's why I stocked up during the three wick sale because I think they're gonna be more fragrant than these single wicks. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two of my Yankee Candle Haul. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.